Hey there, everybody. So, hopefully, you don't mind me saying hey, everybody, ladies and gentlemen, whatever it is. But, what I'm gonna be doing is talk about my experience with OBS with my new custom PC. I've made a gameplay, it's the gameplay of me playing Construction Simulation 2015, so being the video is up, I've I fixed the issue, um, when I first built the PC, it took a while to fix it, because the reason why it took a while is when I first built a custom PC, or when I began setting it up uh, with, uh, with OBS, when I first started OBS from a fresh install of Windows, a fresh install of OBS, I was greeted with a black screen. Now with the black screen, it, this is where my searching took a while it did because this black screen is very common with laptop with uh, if they're running <clears throat> if they're running a hybrid graphic meaning that if the uh, if the laptop have a processor with an integrated graphic then they have a discrete GPU and the software, depending on the software need, um, the software, or not the software, but the laptop or the software, I don't know how the switching does work, but um, I don't know what software is sensing that or not, but um, the laptop they have the integrated graphic, not all laptop, but the awesome laptop out there with no integrated um, uh, GPU integrated in the processor, so or the onboard uh, or the processor does have no onboard graphics. So, but laptop with the processor with a integrated graphic, they do this. Um, auto switching depending on the software need um, and the integrated graphic is mainly for um, so if the software doesn't need any any uh, if it doesn't need the uh, discrete GPU it can use the integrated graphic for more of a, a power energy so um, but with my custom PC well Actually, my custom PC doesn't do stuff like the gaming laptop does. It's just my, um, I have enabled NVIDIA surround. So, I'm not sure if it's going to be the same as AMD iFinity setup or not. Uh, and feel free to let me know if, you, if the, um, if you have issue with the AMD GPU, well, maybe not the GPU fault, but if OBS is giving you issue with your, uh, your triple monitor setup, uh, uh, feel free to let me know if you get black screen like me if I don't, if I don't enable something, but that's a part of that too, um, so with the surround setup, um, with the searching around, I discovered that for my NVIDIA surround, I need to somehow enable OpenGL because with the with the um 
the uh, recent version of OBS. I don't know what version decide to drop out OpenGL, but um, with the new or well, with the recent version of OBS, all you have now is Direct Three D Two, which De Direct Three D Two does not get along with my uh, with my Nvidia surround setup. So it doesn't work too well. Unfortunately, I get black screen. Sometimes it will flash too. So um, some reason I don't know what's the conflict with. The uh, having NVIDIA surround enabled, I don't know what's really conflict. I don't know if NVIDIA is using OpenGL for their uh, uh, for their surround, maybe, maybe not. I don't know. It just is. It is just weird, or oh, it's it's kind of a weird issue. I ran into. Um, I almost thought I had to buy a capsule or. A capture card, but um, during the searching process, but finally I've stumbled across on I believe on a Nvidia form, so that they talk about that you need to um, enable Open GL for a reason if you use uh, Nvidia Surround, so. So with my fix, the uh, the way I fixed the issue, w uh, the way I fix it. So I'm gonna do is turn around. We're gonna go up to the capture of it. So what we do? Okay, click. Okay, click record. And now when I hit record, I'm gonna move the microphone way down so I can sync up the audio. Or two of these should record. So, along with the, along with that too, if I can find the my mouse cursor, so I'm gonna hit the window flag on the keyboard. Now the game is gonna do its seizure moment. <laughs> so what I did is um, and this is gonna go similar to like. The desktop shortcut too, but um, okay. Scroll down until I find the OBS uh, uh, folder in the start menu. Open that folder, or if I click on that folder, it will drop down OBS. So I will right click, uh, click on more, being that's Windows 10. For some reason I have to click extra button, unlike previous operating system. If I right click, I then have to click more. So uh, we're gonna go open file location. Now, we're gonna, uh, okay, so we'll go this way. Well, I didn't mean that. There we go. So we will open to the file explorer. Not Fire Explorer, it's at Windows Explorer, actually. That's all it's called, right? Yeah. Okay, the Explorer. <laughs> so, once we get open up, we just click once on it. Just no double click, just click once. Um, if you do have that double clicking option enabled, turn that off, or I. Don't know how you would do a single click, but do a single click, right click, and click on property. And when you do click on property, um, underneath OBS 64 bit, um, you get the target time would be application, uh, target location would be a 64 bit, so. Uh, then, beneath that is the target of where the where OBS is, or where OBS file location is, basically. So, 
As you can see, I've already entered this little command type. So, if we go back, ideally you should see C program, which C program would be a default file location for OBS Studio. So, but obviously make sure you don't erase it but if you did accidentally erase it on accident which i know sometime when you when you click it by default it will highlight in blue and normally when you highlight in blue normally you want to erase the whole thing so if you don't want to erase the whole thing uh just click one more time to get rid of the highlight blue so just keep in mind of that um if you screwed up, you can create another shortcut too, so. Um, or, did make uh, a duplicate shortcut, so just in case you mess up, you can delete the screwed up shortcut you accidentally done, so. But, uh, just, I'm just using, the, on the keyboard, I'm using the up and down arrow and the side to side arrow, so. You can just move back and forth, so. Once you get to the end, as you can see, you did go space dot dot allow dot dot did I say dot dash. Let me start over. So after the at the end of the of the um the C program for no structure that go dash that no space then dash dash allow dash open g uh open gl so once you type that in you can click okay well actually you can click apply once you if you if you made a change um if you want to make sure it did apply to just be sure of it to apply and once you apply that said okay and once you hit that you should be able to see open uh, GL um, and uh, open GL if you go into OBS setting. So, let's stop recording. There we go. Okay. Bad bing, ba boom. All right. There we go. So, that's how it fixed my issue for my NVIDIA surround. So, oh my, actually, there we go, okay. It, that's how it fixed my issue for uh, NVIDIA surround settings, so I'm not sure if it will apply to AMD corn, maybe, maybe not. I'm not sure how AMD is, I don't know how their iFinity works, so. But uh, feel free to let me know if you have ran into this into that issue or let me know if you had a walk around with them maybe like or if you had to or if you had to end up buying a capture card for you uh for your surround maybe or maybe not for your surround but you had to end up buying uh, a capture card so but uh anyway you know i think this is pretty much you know so it's it's been working fine so actually i did a, i did a quick test clip with obs before i started uh recording so it uh looked like everything is working out just fine so um <laughs> but uh man oh man it's kind of a kind of a headache uh, i think that's only one downside if you enable uh, a triple bond or and when if you do have dribble I guess that's one of the downside of the enable um, Nvidia surround but even though it does have a downside it's pretty damn cool so um down the line I am definitely gonna mess with the Nvidia surround more down the road so you will see video of that too so and you will see other video too, um, next video I have, not next, but project in mind that it should come along is the audio, uh, having surround sound, so, 
that's gonna be a video on that's a video on my mind so but uh, anyway I'm gonna say thank you for watching uh, thank you for taking your time out of your day of watching my video so thank you so much we will catch you next time and um, we'll see you later alright but Feel free to check out other videos, but if you don't know how to, excuse me if I'm saying too many but, but anyway, the, anyway, they didn't join my enthusiasm, so, but anyway, feel free to check out other videos, but if you're a new user to the YouTube platform, I have a link in the video note uh, to make it easy just in case you are new, so that link We'll redirect you off to the video gallery and you can check out other stuff on my... Well, you can check out stuff in my video gallery, so... From way back, too, so... Uh, then, if you're more interested of uh, following my social link... Well, following me and supporting the YouTube channel, you can check out my YouTube homepage. So... Um... So, if... The bottom should be left, so bottom left corner of the video you should see my photo of my face next to the photo of my face should be my username Michael Tech Room, which that is a default link uh, that made by YouTube. So every video I will post, YouTube will put that default link. So you can click on my username. And it should it redirect you off to the YouTube homepage. And like I said, you can follow me. And I have I do have a donation, which is a PayPal. Now, if you're not, if you don't trust PayPal, or if you're not interested of using PayPal, I have another way of supporting the YouTube channel. If you if you do stick around, but anybody who don't mind supporting my channel with the PayPal. Uh, donation button. Um, you don't have to donate a huge amount. A small amount will go a long way. And uh, let me know what shout out you are interested. If you can leave a note behind with PayPal. But if you can't, below the video in the video note, if you click show more, um, there's an email address. If you want to let me know of what shout out uh, you are interested uh, to have. So, um. Then if you don't check out uh, my YouTube video or my YouTube channel homepage, uh, hit the video tab and that will lead you right over to the video video gallery, same as the link in the video notes. So, um, so if the video caught your interest, or well, yeah, if the video caught your interest, feel free to, um, feel free to. Uh, subscribe if the video or if my contents do catch your interest, and if you guys uh, if you can enable the bell notification, do make sure you have the bell notification on correctly. Or if you don't double check, if it's on correctly, you're not going to receive no bell notification. But if you do have on correctly, you should receive some notification. The notification that's not the greatest, but um then feel free to give the video a like or dislike whatever you feel like if you feel like it was helpful or not you know uh then oh what the heck else oh yeah yeah i already said that check out the video notes below the video like i said with the channel email address if you don't click on show more all you can see is the uh, link to the video gallery but if you did click on show more you should see the channel email address, which I said a while ago, and below that is Amazon Wishlist, which you are welcome to support my YouTube channel. It doesn't have to be uh, the expensive item to support my YouTube channel. The the cheapest item will go a long way for the YouTube channel. So, and if you send it as a gift, you should be able to leave a note, and you can let me know. What shout out option your interest uh interest you have so uh then uh community detective forms so if you want to sign up with one of those community detective forms feel free to say hi then 
um, if you have any positive comments, so feel free to post it. But if you do have anything negative, take it to a place that uh, I'm not very likely to see those. So it's gotta be in the deep, deep place that I can't see. So, but anything positive, feel free to post it below the video if you have any constructive, positive comment. Post it below the video. I will catch you next time. We'll see you on the next video. Alright, people?